one of the most important things for us as faculty in the inquiry program is not to give advice. We saw our job as helping you all figure things out and providing you the support, asking you the really good questions that opened up doors for you or helped you see something in a way you hadn't saw, seen before. So we, we chose those questions. So we had a sense of it would be helpful if this if you got this opened but we didn't say oh you know it's it's september 8 september 1883 it's september 1982 and you haven't fulfilled these requirements you should take this course we didn't do that i remember doing that once and here's the example student came in and she was you know, in an inquiry program like UWW, you design your own, you construct your own. And, and she, she was floundering about something. And I said, you know, Marcy, I think this is a good semester for you to take a course with. And I named a faculty member for whom I had great respect, who I thought would help me. And, and Marcy said, what she's teaching? And I said, I don't know. It doesn't matter. What I think is you would enjoy working with her and helping to, she was studying literature. She was interested in literature. Study literature through this teacher's lenses. And she went and she talked to the teacher and that teacher became her bachelor's advisor. Uh, that's the one time I think I came close to, I'm sure I did it a lot, but um, we weren't in the advice giving business, we were in the question asking business. We had, could only hope sometimes that we ask good questions. I had no idea in concrete terms what her future was going to be but when i look when i you know know what she's done in the intervening years and i look at your list theater work interfaith pilgrimage of the middle passage and her work in south africa I say of course <laughs> that's where she was headed the whole time but it wasn't a destination it was a life, emotional, spiritual, intellectual, aesthetic journey that she was on. But it wasn't like a pilgrimage to a place. It was a journey through life. And these were, let's say, the stops along the way. But she created them. She wasn't going to a shrine that some group of other people created. She was, and it, none of those three things that she's doing or did were things. They were processes. They were interpersonal, multipersonal, aesthetic, spiritual, political activities. That's who she was when she arrived. And, you know, she can tell you better than anybody whether her experience at the university helped her along that path. That's not for me or anybody else to judge but her. So be sure to ask her. <laughs>